Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tiffany and today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial. Um, I really just wanted to try out this Milani Cream Blush. It is so pretty. This video is super long so I'm not really about to chat with you guys too much right now. And this is going to be my season recap of WandaVision season 1. I think they might have a season 2 but I don't know. But it's going to be my recap of WandaVision the whole season because the season finale is on Friday coming up after you guys see this video. And I'll be doing a separate video on that. I wanted to do a whole um weekly video with you guys doing makeup and talking about the episode but I wasn't home so I was really I was unable to do that because I didn't have anywhere to film and all of that so instead I just did this is my season recap and I'll have a season finale chat in the next one for probably next week but yeah if you guys are interested in seeing my recap of the WandaVision finale with spoilers I mean, not the finale, my WandaVision season with spoilers, then make sure you stay tuned and let me know down below if you like videos like this and we will come hard with some more for you for the rest of the Disney Plus shows. And yeah, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna jump right into the face right now as we speak. So I'm going to go ahead and wait, wait, wait. Cry my primer. So I'm gonna be taking the Fenty Beauty Sip Soft Silk Hydrated Primer. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, initially when I sat down, I didn't have any of my makeup done. I did my whole face. I tried to do an eye look. I hated it and I had to wipe my face off and my eyes started watering when I was doing it. So the bottom of, you know, under my eye got messed up. So that pissed me off. So. <laughs> Here we are with a completely different eye look that I didn't record because this was not what I initially planned and life happened and ruined it. So, we're just going off of what we got going on right now. So, I'm going to go ahead and color correct with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in, I about to say Fawn, Psych, in the orange corrector shade. right under my eye and I'm listening to a WandaVision video right now so like what's T who's actually watching WandaVision and we have one episode left I was supposed to do like weekly videos for you guys Discussing what was going on in there, like doing my makeup, but like we went home, we were home for three weeks, and that just wasn't happening at my mom's house. I couldn't do no setup at my mom's house, and yeah, so we didn't do it. But what is good? Like, who's been watching it? It is so good. I am spoiling it, so if you don't want to watch this, you know, mute me. But, girl, so the first episode started off pretty slow. But, like, just the first episode, I would say. And then immediately when we get to the second episode, shit starts popping off. Shit starts happening. Right? Vision gets drunk. And <laughs> I don't even want to say he gets drunk because it's literally like he eats gum. And Vision's not supposed to eat. So that kind of screwed him up big time. Oh, for foundation, I'm using my Urban Decay Naked Skin in 70 Warm Yellow. But, bro, he got drunk. That's really the big thing that happened in the episode. They did like a little magic show and... Shit started hitting the fan during the magic show because he was drunk. Um, he started using real magic and, you know, everything just started messing up. And that wasn't popping. So, but we, we got past that episode. You know, they won the talent show or whatever. Um, we get to the next episode. Wanda, old girl, is pregnant. And, I know, right? Things are escalating very fast. Old girl's pregnant. 
and she goes through this pregnancy in like a day and so she starts having like Braxton Hicks and all of that and like magic and stuff is happening like around the house and what I think is because they still never explain this even after you know the babies got here Oh, she's having twins, by the way. Even after the babies got here, they still never explained, you know, exactly what was happening. But what I think was happening was the baby was also contributing to the magic because in the comic books, Wanda has churn and their magic. One is like a witchy witch and then one is fast, like Quicksilver. So that is what everybody, including myself, thought was going to happen that was going to be the tea the vibe um so i'm gonna be using my l'oreal infallible um for these kids and it most definitely was everybody was spot on but when oh hold on she didn't know she was having twins prior to them actually getting there. So she has this first baby and Monica helps her. I'm sorry. Geraldine helps her. Who's actually Monica Rambo. Geraldine helps her have these kids. And well, she has her have helps her have one of the kids. And she's like, um, you're so strong. You're such a strong lady. And then she starts saying like, well, okay, after the second baby comes, because Vision comes in. She's like, don't you want to meet your son as yourself? He takes his little human face off and his Paul Bettany face. And she's like, don't you want to meet your son as yourself? So he takes the little fake face off and, you know, looks at the baby. And then he's, she's like yelling again. Which these are accurate yells. I feel like for having being a labor. And she yells again and he's like, uh, there's another baby coming, blase blase. So then they end up having the twins or whatever. So then Vision goes outside. Obviously, Herb and Agnes are being weird weird boots outside. Agnes always be shady. We're gonna find out why soon. You guys, if you already watched this, you are you. But they're being weird outside. Um, Vision comes outside or whatever with the doctor and oh I'm gonna use this Milani cream blush it's in blush and berry so Vision comes outside like I was saying with the doctor and he sees big herb big herb and Ag Agnes across the street because now I can't not call her Agatha Agnes across the street and they're like talking being real shady and he's like going over there and he's like well you know what you guys talking about blah 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 you know chitter chatter chitter chatter <laughs> what are you guys talking about this is really pretty oh my goodness because i'm obsessed so yeah they're being weird they're talking and then big herb says um uh what does he say something along the lines of we're all something right and everybody's trying to figure out what the we're all is we're all what we're all what poo okay so i'm back in focus i'm gonna take this beauty bakery better not bitter palette i'm going to take obviously the antidepresso for bronzer but yeah so some weird shit's going on um across the street and vision's kind of like what's going on here and he goes back in the house and then he's like where's Joe D oh that's where I was at okay my mind is back. So after she has the babies, Geraldine, aka um, Monica, is in the house and they're chit chatting about, you know, the babies and they're so cute. Woo -woo -woo. And then Wanda says, I was a twin. Or well, I'm a twin, you know, whatever. And then Monica says, Oh, he was killed by Ultron. And we're all like, oh. What's they? What's thing? What you say? And 
So Wanda says, what you say? <laughs> Cause she's like, I'm not dealing with this shit. What the fuck is going on here? And I'm all over the place because so much has happened. And I've watched all these episodes twice. And it's so hard to just talk about what's going on. So bottom line is Monica is an agent of sword and she accidentally got sucked in there because she was doing too much and she stuck her hand through a little border. And so here we are. So she's just been in this like little fantasy just living and you know, just going on about her life. Just that's just what's been going on. She's just been here and period. That's what's been happening. So she says that one like bitch please and they cut away from her and they cut back to Vision being outside talking to old Herb outside and Agnes. Then they come back in and you know wanna get all crazy or whatever. She is when Vision comes back in the house, she is with the babies like rocking them I think in the bassinet if I do remember correctly because mind you this is episode three now that this is happening so um all this is going on and Vision comes back Wanda, I mean Wanda Jody Monica is gone um, Wanda turns around to look at Vision and he's like gray, so like how he was on Infinity War when they snatched the shit out of his head, right? So she's like r respectfully and expecting, like, how she acts, how she reacts, how you would expect someone to react when they see their dead husband. She reacts exactly how you would expect someone to react. I don't know how you expect someone to react regular to that as if that's a regular thing but she's reacted exactly how i would have reacted if i saw that shit i'd have been taken aback and confused honey so this is just all on episode three so episode four we get the backstory for what's going on how monica got you know got up in here because we didn't know this prior to this episode how monica got in here we do know because i mean if you just pay attention to you know who she is. This is Monica Rambo, Maria Rambo's daughter from Captain Marvel. Okay, so you're caught up now. So that's who she is. We go back and we go back to after the snap, the blip. When people came back, Monica got blipped, snapped away. She wakes up in the hospital. She like comes back, like the particles come back in her body, and she like wakes up in the hospital and um her mom had cancer and she had just got surgery when it was going on or whatever. So Monica's like, where's my mom? Where's my mom? And everybody like frantically getting, you know, back in. And she runs into her mom's doctor and she's like, where's my mom? And she's like, Monica, your mom died. And like, so remember, the snap was, you were gone for five years. And her mom died two years, no, two or three years after the snap. So Monica was like, long gone. Okay, so that's sad. But let's jump past that. Because that's not relevant right now. So Monica then goes um to work and her mom found it sword okay where she also worked monica's astronaut and she was the agent or whatever they're called and um so she goes to work and this douchebag who you automatically know is a douchebag because you know how you just know like you just see someone and like you know you don't know them but you know them like you know they're an asshole so that's this guy. That's Hayward. Hayward was giving me big, I don't know you, but also I don't want to know you, right? He was giving me those vibes. And he's like, you're grounded. Your mom came up with these rules. Um, blase, blase. And, you know, mind you, her mom's dead. So, like, would her mom know if she, if she didn't follow the rules? Like, would she know? No, because this is dead. But... 
that is not nice that's actually horrible but like so he's saying that basically like bitch please this is my house you ain't got shit going on here get to step in poo it's basically how i feel like he's coming at her I feel like he's being disrespectful, okay? Like, he's not putting respect on her name like he should be. So, basically, he's disrespectful. So, he tells her she's going to go to this missing persons case. And if she has a problem with it, she doesn't have to do it. Blase, blase. But mind you, like I said, I don't trust Hayward. And I never did from the time he stepped on the screen. He was shady. He was shysty. And we don't like him. So she goes to this mission, missing person's like place and meets up with um, Jimmy Wu. Is that his name? Is that his name? I feel like that's his name. If it's not his name, Agent Wu. I don't know if his first name is Jimmy. I could very well be making that up. But she goes to meet up with him and we all know and love Agent Wu from um, what is that movie called? Ant-Man and the Wasp, right? I feel like I'm back in the woods now. So she meets up with Agent Wu. I'm going to say Jimmy because I think his name is Jimmy. Um, and they're at they're at this town in New Jersey. So they get there and the police officers. This is happen, sim happening simultaneously while the stuff that we see on WandaVision is happening or had already happened. This is taking us back to how she initially got there. Because mind you, we see, um, we see Geraldine, a.k.a. Monica, on episode two, I believe. So, sis has been in there since, you know, it started, truly. She's been in there since it started. So, now, we're in, what happened, what happened? So, now she gets sucked into Westview. Wu doesn't know what's going on, so I guess he um, ended up making contact with Hayward, oh, bitch ass. And, you know, telling him what was good, what was going on. Okay, I'm going to take this Deja Bru shade right here. It's a matte. And I'm going to take that and place that under my eye. I wish I would focus. God damn. So he calls old boy. And to tell old boy, Monica got snatched in or whatever. And he doesn't know what the fuck is going on. So that's what he tell. You know, that's the um info that he passes on so once he passes that info on the hayward um they set up a little base camp outside of the hex this is what they're calling it and they bring back old girl from the fuck is that movie it's not one of my favorite movies thor they bring back darcy good sis from thor like not thor's sister but like whatever she was in Thor and she's an astrophysicist or whatever so they get her to come in you know trying to see if she has any idea what the hell's going on in there so obviously who the fuck does nobody so she doesn't know so I'm gonna let that dry so CMBR is supposed to be like radiation or something and the Hayward bitch ass is like oh yeah dance back to the big bang mind you I don't like I don't like him and there's every more and more every episode I like him less and less and less and for good reason i do think so so i'm sorry if i'm out of focus for this i'm trying to like look at my mirror and i don't have like a viewfinder separately so the only viewfinder i have is my viewfinder on my camera so like if i'm i can look like i'm in focus like from afar and then not be in focus so i'm sorry ahead of time so he's like She's like, let's get a TV, blase, blase. And that's how they find out that the show is actually being, like, broadcasted or whatever. Not necessarily broadcasted, but broadcasted, right? So, they're watching and, like, taking notes and writing stuff down. And they're basically saying everything that we're saying as people watching the actual show, like, WandaVision, on Disney Plus, they're saying what we're saying, like a whole bunch of shit just not making sense to all these people. So they're finding out who the people are in the town. Coming to find out that people that actually lived in the town prior to Wanda doing this, she didn't pull anybody um, from there. I mean, from anywhere else to be in the town. She just, it was just, you know, people that were already there. 
and Vision starts getting suspicious of what's going on. And this is when shit starts being about to hit the fan. Because he starts getting suspicious. He starts asking questions and shit. And he's just like, you know, what the fuck is going on? Why is there no other kids in Westview? Blase, blase, blah. Ooh. So, we get to... I don't remember if it's the same as the next episode. So, I'm just going to skip past to maybe the beginning of this episode or something but the kids start aging up they age we don't know if they're aging themselves up or old girl agnes is aging them up and so they age themselves up to five and then they won the dog and their and wanda was like you get one when you're 10 and then they age up to 10 so that's that's relevant i just forgot all about that because it was so much shit going on that didn't involve wanda and vision and the churn okay so we get to this is finally to do them one week at a time because it's so much easier to break down one episode than 70 you know after vision starts getting suspicious he's like what's going on and wanda's like um do you think i'm controlling everything that's going on in westview i'm controlling all these people doctor's appointments dentist appointments blase blase woo 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 and he's like now honestly wanda i don't know what to think and they start rolling the credits like they did they used to do on shows. They start rolling the credits while they're arguing and Wanda's like walking away. Because mind you, Wanda's doing, she's controlling this, right? So they start rolling the credits. And <laughs> bitch is like, fuck all that. Bitch will be arguing. I'm not playing. So they the credits initially stop rolling and vision's like fed the fuck up he starts levitating and shit and she starts levitating and shit see first of all because if me and brown would we had powers we would be it be shit would be fucked up because i would be throwing the stove at him <laughs> somebody knocks on the door and she's like i didn't do that i like i promise but you don't believe me and he's like well bitch your track record is um questionable poo so open the door. Why the fuck is it old boy from the X Men, Quicksilver from the X Men, child Evan Peters? Now, let me tell you something. He was one of my favorite parts about the rebooted, like updated, younger X Men. One of my favorite parts. So I truly wasn't mad about it. However, with that being said, I don't feel like that's who he's supposed to be. I just feel like he's just somebody, and Marvel was just trying to be funny. They was being real cute, but I don't think it's cute casting him knowing he wasn't about to be nobody for real right so i need to put some what you call down my nose so he comes he's like can a brother um he's like can a brother just come visit his sister or some shit and he's like i want to squeeze you to death or something. but he said some shit like that right with this like accent or whatever and so she's looking and she's like pietro <laughs> like who the fuck are you no, but dead ass. Because who the fuck are you? You're not what the fuck my brother look like. It's basically what she was trying to say. Like, I don't know you for real. Like, I know that's who you're supposed to be. Like, that's what the vibe is giving. You're supposed to be my brother. But, like, I don't know you, bro. So, then we get to the next episode. And it's the Halloween episode. And we've gotten so far, guys. It's the Halloween episode. And Vision is like, um, I'm going to go patrolling. He's patrolling tonight with the neighborhood watch. He's not. He's lying through his teeth. And Wanda's like, well, you aren't supposed to be, well, like, she didn't tell him to go do that. And she's, he's like, what? And she's like, well, you're, you just didn't tell me that that's what you were doing tonight or whatever. And he's like, oh, okay. Love you. <laughs> that's not funny. It's so funny. I'm kidding. It's fucking hilarious. So, he's going strolling, rolling through the neighborhood, and he's, like, getting further and further outside the town, and he comes across people, they're not moving, I mean, they are, some are, and but they're doing, like, back and forth movements, like, you know how, like, in a video game, characters that aren't being used kind of just are there but like they're not doing shit they're just there until you know, like you need them 
that's basically what the people on the edges of town are doing. And then he comes across Agnes, bitch ass. Agnes is a bad bitch. I'm not about to lie. She's a bad bitch. But like, she's literally a bad bitch. So, <laughs> he comes across her and he's like, he like wakes her up because he can do that, right? He got powers and shit. So, he like wakes her up out of like the trance or whatever. And she's kind of like, am I dead? And he's like, you guys probably saw it. You guys, if you've seen the trailers, you've seen this part. And she's like... He's like, well, I'll jack that. And she's like, because you're dead. And then she starts, like, yelling it, like, dead, 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 dead. And I'm like, okay, bitch, you get it. Like, relax. Don't fucking come for vision like that. He's trying to help. And his body is basically, like, ripping apart. And, like, parts of him are, like, trying to fly back into the hex. And, like, so he's dying, right? And then the old Darcy girl, she, like, runs out. She's like, help him, help him, help him. What's way, help him. Da, 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 da. And... They handcuff her to the car. And so after he like dies, Wanda, like the boys here, like him like vision like screaming. And so like Wanda, they're like, I think dad's in, he's like, I think dad's in trouble. And Wanda's basically like, where is he? And I think he said he's at the edge of town, but I don't remember if he said that. And so she like pauses everybody. She's like, she pauses everybody and then literally <laughs> this is not funny she pauses everybody and she extends the hex out at least like three miles at least and that's being generous probably more like 10 15 she extends she pulls the people that were at the shield i mean the sword little base thing into the hex turns them into a circus like a little carnival <laughs> turns the people into clowns and shit and like they leave Darcy handcuffed to this truck. They leave old girl handcuffed to this truck. And so she gets snatched in. <laughs> it's not funny. So then they're like, um, they're just trying to get back home, like to his baby mama and his kids, right? And so he's asking um, Darcy questions. He wakes her up or whatever, because obviously he knows what's going on. Cause he's been in there so he like wakes Darcy up and he's like asking questions and he's she's like telling him yeah you died and Wanda had to kill you but then old boy brought you back to life and you know she had to watch that too and he's like wow she had to go through so much for me it feels like somebody else went through it but for her it was just a couple weeks ago or whatever right because mind you Wanda got snapped away too so he's like oh my goodness i couldn't imagine like that's so much grief so they're trying to get back to the house and but like somebody i was at first i thought it was wanda but now i'm thinking it was agnes um is keeping him from getting home and it's like at first there were no kids now there's like kids across and guard like people working on the street light and stuff like that so finally he just flies off but on the flip side so monica's trying to get back in and she gets back in sis gets powers like in the comics so wanda's I mean so monica's a bad bitch so she goes to wanda's house she's trying to like talk her down like you know you don't have to be like this i don't have to be like this you don't gotta be a villain blah, 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 blah. and wanda's like well what if i already am but what if i already am and then Agnes comes out and she's doing the most. And then she takes Wanda to her house. Agnes is supposed to be watching Wanda's kids because Wanda was having a mommy day. And she comes in the house. She's like, where are the twins? And she's like, oh, they're probably in the basement playing or something. So Wanda goes down to this basement. It's creepy as shit. And it's just like vines and shit all over the basement. And so we all thought Agnes was Agatha. And she was, she was tripping. She was doing some, you know extra shit and says a was so we find out she's a witch or whatever and she's been causing all types of hoopla around the town right because what the fuck and so then after that it goes to the next episode and the whole next episode is just um agnes agatha taking wanda back to events in her past and she wants to know how it you know how this happened how did she do all this because she's a witch but she can't do all this and she's trying to figure out how wanda did so they go back to when they were actually trapped up under 
the bed at their house. Remember they tell Ultron and Age of Ultron that what happened and why they don't like Tony Stark or whatever. So she goes back to that and come to find out Wanda already had like a little bit of magic already. I see what they're doing with that. And she's the person, she's the reason that the missile didn't go off or the bomb didn't go off. She made it so that it didn't go off. Not so much that it was faulty. And then they go to when they were experimenting on her and her brother at Hydra or whatever. And the stone basically picked Wanda to, you know, give all that extra shit to. So, yeah, we find all that out and they show how Wanda actually created the hex. Um, supposedly Vision had bought them land in Westview and she went to go see the land and once she saw the land in Westview they were going to build a house and grow old and have children and all that she just lost it she got she went the fuck off so then after we see that Agnes Agatha has the kids outside and she's like this is chaos magic Wanda and she's like I know what you are you're the Scarlet Witch. That's the first time that's ever been said. But that's what's happened so far. So far, it's only one episode left. But I will come back with y'all for the finale talk. And that's going to be a whole video on its own, okay? A whole video on its own. But if you guys enjoyed this video and you enjoy my little WandaVision you know season recap prior to the finale then let me know and we could do this with Falcon and Winter Soldier and all of that so like I always tell you guys I'm your girl Tiffany thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video